Thank you for participating in the Maine Winter Sports Center's Healthy Hometowns Equipment Rental Program. The purpose of this video is to familiarize you with the basic use procedures for our paddle sports equipment trailers. This video will cover the following. A general overview of each trailer, towing guidelines, securing the equipment, equipment loading and unloading, and care and handling of the equipment. Each canoe trailer includes six canoes, 12 canoe paddles, 16 personal flotation devices, five youth, five small to medium, five large to extra large, and one double extra large, one personal flotation device storage bag, one spare tire, and one security cable with lock. Each kayak trailer includes 12 kayaks, 12 kayak paddles, 15 personal flotation devices, 5 in a youth size, 5 in a small to medium, and 1 large to extra large, 1 personal flotation device storage bag, 1 spare tire, and 1 security cable with lock. Each stand-up paddleboard trailer includes 6 kayaks, 6 stand-up paddleboards, six kayak paddles, six stand-up paddleboard paddles, 15 personal flotation devices, five in a youth size, five small to medium, and one large to extra large, one personal flotation device storage bag, one spare tire, one security cable with lock, and two security locking cam straps. Towing and transportation guidelines. All trailers of the Paddle Sports Fleet trailers have a two inch ball coupler and four way flat light connector, attaching and detaching. To attach the trailer to the tow vehicle, unlock the coupler lock from the coupler latch and raise the coupler latch to the vertical position. Lower the trailer jack until ball hitch is completely seated in the coupler. Move trailer jack to the horizontal position. Move the coupler latch to the horizontal position. Attach the towing chains to the towing hitch receiver. Make sure that the chains do not touch the ground. Attach the four-way male flat plug from the trailer into the female four-way flat plug on the tow vehicle. Always perform a pre-tow inspection before towing any paddle sports trailer. Walk to the rear of the trailer and observe that both lights are blinking. Perform a visual check of both tires. Perform a check of the straps to make sure they are properly routed around the equipment and check to make sure that the straps are tight. Perform a double check of the towing setup to make sure everything is properly hooked up. Securing the equipment. The main winter sports center uses cam straps to secure equipment to the trailer. The basic parts of the cam strap are the strap, the buckle body, and the spring-loaded cam lever. Holding the buckle body, depress the spring-loaded cam lever. Take the end of the strap and feed it up through and in between the spring-loaded cam lever and around the edges of the buckle body. Complete the process by doing a half hitch around the incoming strap with the two loose ends of the strap. It is critical to make sure that the cam strap is threaded correctly when securing the equipment. Special note about the stand-up paddleboard straps. The stand-up paddleboards use a special lock and cam strap. These straps provide an extra level of security when the equipment is being stored. They are threaded and tightened in the same manner as the non-locking straps. When these straps have been tightened, you must pull forward on the locking spring-loaded cam lever to firmly seat it against the strap. If you do not pull the spring-loaded cam lever forward enough, the lock will not turn and engage. Loading and Unloading Loading and unloading equipment is a two-person job. Individuals should be of a similar height and strength to facilitate an easier unloading and loading process. Kayaks. Undo the straps of the boats that you are unloading. 
position one person at each end of the kayak. While holding on to the handles at each end, let the kayak roll flat. Lift the kayaks by the handles and remove them from the trailer. To load the kayaks onto the trailer, the process is reversed. Stand up paddle boards. Undo the locking cam straps from both ends of the boards. Position one person at each end of the stand up paddle boards. Holding onto the front and back of the board, slowly lift the board up and off the trailer. To load stand up paddle boards, the process is reversed. When unloading canoes, it is easiest to start with the lowest canoes first and highest canoes last. Undo the cam straps from both ends of the canoe you wish to remove. Make sure that the yellow canoe painter lines are not tied to the trailer. Position one person at each end of the canoe. Lift the canoe up and off the trailer frame and move it out sideways away from the trailer. You may need an extra hand to stabilize the middle of the canoe. When the canoe is clear of the trailer, slowly flip the canoe to an upright position to move easily. Canoes are a large and heavy craft that can be awkward to move easily. Canoes should be moved by at least two people. Position a person at each end of the canoe on opposite sides. Grab the handles at each end to lift and move the canoe. Before loading, make sure that the painter lines have been properly secured. To secure painter lines, run them under the canoe thwarts and tie them to the lines of the farthest thwart possible. Position a person at each end of the canoe on the same side. With both people facing the same direction, grab the left gunnel of the canoe with your right hand. Reach across the canoe and grab the right gunnel with your left hand. Coordinating with your partner, lift the canoe so that it's resting upright on your right thigh. Coordinate with your partner again using a jerking motion to lift the canoe up overhead. Move it sideways onto the trailer, making sure that the painter lines do not get tangled up. Using the low handle carry method, bring the canoe close to the trailer. When the canoes are resting upright on the ground, begin to flip the canoe over. While lifting it off the ground, finish holding the canoe upside down around your waist. Coordinating with your partner, lift the canoe to the appropriate height and move it sideways onto the trailer. Equipment Care and Handling Never stand on the canoe trailer when it is not hooked to the tow vehicle. Always dry personal flotation devices before storing them in a package. Never drag the equipment on the ground. Never place the stand-up paddle boards fins down. And never stand on the boards out of water. We hope you enjoy using our Healthy Hometowns paddle sports equipment. Be safe and have fun. For more information on the Healthy Hometowns programs or other programs of the Maine Winter Sports Center, please visit www.ewsc.org.